hi everyone welcome to my channel today i'm going to be showing you how i cook my lamb liver and what i'll need some oil olive oil i've already put some extra virgin olive oil in my pan you just put the oil according to how much liver you're going to be frying so according to me i've just put one tablespoon of olive oil for this I need some pepper, black pepper, I need some salt, table salt, you can use any salt of your choice, and I'll need some oxo in my liver, this will give it a really good flavor, so I'll just use these three for my liver, and of course I need onions you can't have liver without onions you have to put that onion in and make it nice and lovely flavored so let's go so so we start by heating our oil on low heat never cook liver on a high high heat very low heat to cook your liver nice and slow and be lovely and we're going to add in onions you can use brown onion red onion you can use any onion of your choice some onion here. and when you finish these onions make sure you wash your hands because it's going to get in your eyes and you're going to be crying and somebody comes in and they be like why are you crying it's onions onions are making me cry so wash your hands after you put onions in the pan so you can proceed with the rest of the stuff. So you need Thai onion, like I said, cook your onions of very, very low heat. Don't over fry them up. So you turn in your onions until it's soak all the oil in. When the oil is all soaked in them onions, and we're going to put our liver so it's cooking with that onion nice and slow. So once your onions are soaked all the oil, You're going to put your liver. I've washed my liver already, so I'm going to get my liver straight in the pan. Right? I'm going to give it a bit of time. So now I'm going to put some salt. I'm going to put a half tablespoon of salt. Salt salt helps the onions cook faster and soften the onions. So give it a nice turn, like I say, on raw heat. Let your liver and onion cook very slowly. So now we're going to put our black pepper. In there. Like I say, you put salt, black pepper. The amount will depend on how much liver it got. But like for me, I'm putting like one teaspoon of black pepper. Right? 
mind and we will start don't overcook your liver guys liver cook so fast so don't overcook it and don't turn the lid so high it's so it's really it really hard the flavors for the onions and that liver Right guys, now that my leaf is halfway cooked, I'm going to put some oxo. I'm going to put one oxo, depends how much you've got, like I said before, you may have want to put two, but I'm going to use one because of the amount of leaf I've got. I'm going to be using one oxo, one of them. And this is another trick as well for getting the oxo, like open it, brush, brush it, so it can open easily, like that, see, when you brush it, it opens easily, so I'll get it in my bowl, like I said, I'm going to use one of them, so I've got my oxo in my bowl, I'm going to mix it, this one here, well, one of them in bowl, mix it up, I'm going to put, I've already got my boiled water in my kettle, so I'm going to put some hot water in there, you put according to how much flavor I've got, so according to what I've got, I've got like one cup of water to go in my liver, you can eat this one with mashed potatoes, with vegetables, you can have this one with rice as well so i'm going to get my stock of oxo and i'm going to have it in right and this is going to cook very slowly there some don't may just cook it without the stock but we're going to be having it with vegetables and mashed potatoes so um, I need some stew in I need some gravy in it that's why I had to make oxo stock right so I let that cook slowly until it's all full cooked and then that will be ready to be served okay guys so I'll go ahead make my the rest of the dinners and I'll have to see you later when it's all cooked. Right now that olive is all cooked, we're going to switch it off. Off. Then we're going to let it sit for 45 minutes. It's been cooking for 40 minutes. We're going to leave it sit for 45 minutes, just nice and calm. That will make it really, really nice and soft and tender. And meanwhile, while it's cooling down like that, the heat has been switched off. We've got our vegetables cooking and we'll be having it with our vegetables and mashed. Okay guys, you can have it raw with rice, with mash, with African cake, anything you want. Okay guys, and that's how it's looking. I'll see you in my another video guys. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to like, subscribe and comment and share this video of course. If you think it was helpful share with somebody care for families friends and everyone thank you guys have a blessed day bye so guys our leaf is cooked our vegetables are ready on a plate that's this one is having it with vegetables and boiled potatoes the same as this one this one over there and i'm having it with african cake 
it's like maize flour in Mingolit. I'll have to make a video about that video if you like me to make a video a video about that. Uh, making this one, just let me know in the comment. But that's African cake we call it. It's maize flour in Mingolit and make like proper cake. I would say, but that's that's mine. That's how I want to have mine. I like my African cake. I like to have it with rice, with mashed potatoes. Like I said, you can have it with anything you would like. But this is. My husband's going to have it with just quite potatoes, same as my son, and I'm going to have it with African cake. Okay, guys. So I hope you're going to try it with a different food, of, of course, of your choice. And let me know in a comment. And bye bye, guys. You have a good day. Don't forget to like and subscribe, of course. Thank you, guys. I love you all. See you in my other video.